It's the most prescribed antibiotic in the U.S., but for the second winter in a row, liquid amoxicillin is in short supply. Unfortunately, this is not the first time we've been through this. Dr. Nusheen Aminadine with Mayo Clinic says most illnesses in fall and winter are caused by viruses, which won't respond to antibiotics. Amoxicillin and other similar medications fight secondary infections caused by bacteria. There are alternatives that we can use in almost all cases, and so it's not like we're going into this with absolutely no options. Amoxicillin powder remains on the U.S. Food and Drug Administration shortage list. It's mixed to make the liquid form and given to young children who aren't able to swallow pills. The shortfall was first declared by the FDA last October. Since amoxicillin pills and tablets are not in short supply, Aminadine says some pediatricians may use those instead. We can maybe crush a tablet and give that to a child so they get the same amount of the medication um, that can then be mixed into like a teaspoonful of a food that they might be willing to eat. And there are other antibiotics as well that can be used to treat a child suffering from illnesses like pneumonia or an ear infection. Sometimes they're a little stronger, sometimes they might cause more side effects, and so that's why amoxicillin has been a go-to uh, for us for many decades. But we do have other options if your child needs antibiotic treatment. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.